Alright, so we're doing a cleaning on this Kenmore front load dryer. Um, you can clean the windscreen and that's good, but um, I notice that sometimes it takes forever and if you get in here, you can see there's a bunch of stuff just hung up in there. And this dryer has pretty much a straight shot. So what we're going to do is take out these screws. So you got to kind of get your head in here. It's probably going to be pretty dark, but there's screws. They're all Phillips. I'm just using a number two bit. And no, this is not the first time I've done this. This is kind of an annoying little process that it seems seems you have to do I would say almost once a month so uh, let's see if we can find this one here what the heck is there not a screw in there oh, there's a screw in there there it is So what I'm doing here is pulling off the whole assembly for the lint screen. So then you can get better access into here. So, and I'm going to take a long vacuum cleaner extension and get in there and suck out as much of it as I can because it's pretty full again. Okay. So this is what that looks like now. I got it all cleaned out. I'm in this delay here. So I just vacuumed that out. Uh, I also vacuumed off the lint screen here. And then also this is the bracket here that kind of holds it in to clean that up as well. Um, I'm also going to check the vent outside. That's usually pretty clear though. It's a straight shot out. So and if you're wondering what the uh, model number is here. Let's see if I can get that to zoom. Wow. Hmm. What I just can't get this camera to focus here. Oh I had it for a second again. So anyway. Um Yeah, and I got the washing machine going here. Anyway, the model number is uh, 796.8884-28000. So, and it's an electric dryer. Oh, I just can't get it. Okay, so I got the focus there. Not sure exactly how. I don't know. This camera is something else. So, there's the information. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's back in place here. So, it's not ideal the way the setup is, but it works. Alright, so this is what the outside looks like here. So, uh, every every once in a while too I periodically check this this always freezes freezes uh, open there's a damper or flap in here and it always 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 freezes open when it's cold um, I've yet to find a really good dryer vent um, especially for Wisconsin here with the you get such humid air coming out of this thing and then all that moisture build up and then you shut it off and it freezes. Same thing with the bathroom vents too. You end up with the same issue. Ones that go through the roof. So, I don't know. I just check it and make sure that the flap moves. Usually there's some stuck way up at the top. Up in here. So, but right now, now the flap moves again. So, there wasn't too much in there. And I'll take my hand just check the pipe. Oh, there's a pretty good chunk. Yeah, that's what was in there. Right here. So, that's probably why it took longer the other day to dry. So I usually like doing this when it's running. I'll stick my hand in here because then whatever I break loose just blows out. So I probably should uh, get one of those things to clean this out. 
there's a lot of stuff here but and then this just kind of peels off so but yeah all right so that's what that looks like all right so i got it running here hopefully that'll uh speed up the drying process